The first cohort of grade 9 students is facing an alarming reality, a critical shortage of classrooms despite repeated assurances from the Ministry of Education that 16,000 new classrooms will be ready by January next year. This crisis was highlighted in Parliament when MPs responsible for overseeing the construction of 6,000 classrooms revealed that they were unaware of the location of the new schools. We have agreed as um, members of Parliament to also put up additional classrooms, matching funds. But it has come to happen that the schools where, where you're putting classroom is not communicated to us. Where you are planning to put a classroom is where we are also putting a classroom. If there was that communication between the National Assembly and the Ministry of Education, it, we can add synergy to one another. On communication, I want to assure members that we did a list of schools we were going to do Maybe we did it in the wrong way because we did it to CDF office, your national CDF office, with the assumption that the CDF office will share with every member of parliament. We shall avail to every member of parliament the schools we are doing and we have done per county as we try to break it down to the constituency. Amidst the recent announcement of 1 million shillings allocation per classroom, concerns are mounting about the feasibility of constructing quality standard classrooms with such a budget. In the next three years, we are setting aside 3.5 billion shillings to sort out specifically Nairobi County. The county government of Nairobi has collaborated with the national government and they are setting aside another 1.5 billion shillings towards classrooms in Nairobi because we appreciate the challenge that is in this city. So, yes, the one, <coughs> one million shillings per class may not be adequate, but by giving every constituency another 58 million shillings is a way in which we are trying to enhance how we avail classrooms the discussion also raised questions about the construction of the promised 16,000 classrooms, with some pointing out that none of this includes laboratories essential for comprehensive learning experience in secondary schools. The 1,600 schools would not have labs. By the time our kids report to senior school in January, each of our senior schools will have at least a laboratory. We are also going to do 2,000 virtual labs so that we leverage on technology. So we are going to do another 2,000 virtual labs to support these 1,600 schools who do not have labs. Yet again, the PS was on record that 15,000 will be issued in full as capitation to the GSS learners. Capitation news, 4,000 of the 15,000 is supposed to be used to improve facilities in a school both physical facilities, which is schools where requiring sanitation facility, 4,000 of it is set aside. And that's why when we are doing these classrooms now, that 4,000 shillings will be used to get a desk. As the new academic year approaches, the ministry has assured that guidelines for the placement of students into senior secondary schools will be released early next year. Harriet Chimea, K24.